Hello everyone, welcome to Weaver Academy Red Team series. In my last chapter, I was demonstrating the famous Red Team tool, Atomic Red Team. If you have not watched it, I would like to request that you watch it. I'll be giving the link in the description. In this chapter, I'm going to demonstrate GoFish open source phishing campaign tool, which is where you can utilize this framework and test your organization, how the employees are uh, getting the I mean, phishing campaigns, you run it and you can understand whether phishing I means employees are aware of it or how many people are just uh, become a pay to that thing. So you can basically, you entirely reduce this tool, you can evaluate, you can run a phishing campaign and you can evaluate torches. This is a wonderful tool and it is uh, open source. Uh, so simple steps, you just need to set a template, target, and you have to run the campaign and uh, based on the business requirement, then for then you can get the result of it and you can see that how many people are email sent it, how many people opened, they clicked it, they submitted their tasks. And based on that, you can give the awareness for them training again, you can do it over there. So in this chapter, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the GoFish open source phishing tool campaign, where I'll guide you to setting up and executing the phishing campaign using this powerful tool. Without further delay, let's get into the video. Disclaimer, this video is purely for education and information purpose. I don't encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other systems or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even if this video demonstrated ethically practicing in my lab environment. First, uh, let's start by installing the GoFish this tool. Uh, so you can download the, you have to go to the GitHub page of uh, GoFish and uh, just click this release. So release version you can see that there are like a linux version mac os windows and everything over there uh, in the consideration of a, a beginner friendly this course so i'm just uh, going to install this package in the windows 64-bit uh, version uh, you can you can do it in the parrot os Kali, or uh, any other Linux distro, or if you suppose you want to run it in the Mac OS, uh, you can do it. Uh, so it's 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 uh, available for on the all the platform. Uh, since I just look at Windows version on two factors, one is Windows are widely used it, so it's easy for to set it over there. And second thing is uh, its installations will be simple, so I just took it in that angle so that I can cover for the beginners as well. So I have already downloaded uh, this version. So let me go to the uh, download uh, folder and uh, I will try to extract this one. So if you see that I have already downloaded, let me extract it here only. So the extraction is completed. So now all I just need to do is just run this setup file. So the installation has just started. So it will ask you the firewalls to be allowed over there or not. So I'm just clicking the uh, private and those things. In case if we are doing testing on from external network, external network from like things over there, you can do it over there. So I'm just unchecking the public network because I'm just going to do all this testing on the home network and work network only. So I'm just allowing on this is only and uh, allowing access. So the firewall will be rule will be created. So if you see that the server admin is actually started, so you can copy this URL and just paste it on, just go to the page and HTTPS loop pack address 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 333, sorry, 433. And uh, you will be landing, if you did everything correctly, you will be landing on this page. You don't need to worry, uh, this error message you are getting because of it is a self signed certificate. That is why you are just click, uh, just click advance and continue it because the connection will go as a HTTP one. So since it's self signed, 
uh, you'll be having over there. So we have successfully installed uh, uh, the GoFish. Now we have to log in. Uh, so for the login page, so we have to log in. So to get the login, this one, so you have to go back to the same way we running this uh, application, right? So the username is admin and the password is, this is the one you have to give it over there. So let me copy this one. And the username is admin and let me paste it. Sign in. So it's asking for the password to be reset. So I'll just give her some dummy password, super duper weak password I'm just giving since it's a demo one. So I'm just giving on it. So it's very simple. The installation uh, to install it in Windows, very simple. So see, uh, I just log in, a simple, very simple step. Now what we have to do is let's give some time to, I think the initial dashboard will be uh, nothing because we have to create a campaign. So once you are uh, done instructions properly, you've done it, the installations, uh, as per I showed it over there, you'll be landing on this dashboard page over there. So now what we have to do is let's try to create a new phishing uh, campaign, okay? So let's go and uh, start setting up the campaign. Uh, so first of all, we have to do uh, certain things, then only we can able to set a campaign. So first of all, we will create a user groups. So this is where we are going to say that uh, uh, whether we are going to send us particular person or uh, whether we are going to do a campaign for a, a bulk user or anything. So you can upload as a CSV details on there. So I'm just putting here test user and the first name i'm just giving some random name james let go uh, email address i'm just uh, let me go to the disposable email address and i can get the disposable email address for this demonstration in this case you can give the uh, phishing campaigns uh, things over there so I'll basically I'll be getting a dummy email address, which is something like temporary for a certain period of time. So it's a basically disposable one. Uh, so let me copy this one and go here and paste it in the email. And I'm just positioning it at the, like a CEO, just okay. So let me add this user. So now the user group is created. So let me save the change. So step number one is done. So in this, as I said earlier, you can do a bulk email upload so that all the persons will be there. But this is very, very important. Otherwise, you cannot be able to create a phishing campaign. And then we have to go to the email template. So here we have to create an email template. So for to that, we have to go to the email template and the template name here is, uh, here I'm just going to use a Gmail phishing. So I put it as a, Google Gmail login. Okay, and the uh, envelope. So basically, from whom I need to do it over there. So in this case, uh, I'll create a one more disposable email address, random domain. Okay, so let me copy this, or I can create a alias. It's fine. So let me paste it here. And here I'm just saying it. Subject, I'm just putting a subject to something like um, Gmail login testing. And here you can give a plain text or HTML, you can pay over there. So now what I'll do is uh, let me go to the chat GPT. And let me create a login. Let me copy this code. And so let me paste it here. Good to go. So now let's save the template. So now we have a user group, email template, and landing page we have to create it. So let's put a new, and uh, this is a gmail.com. So I import the site. So here again, I have to go to the Gmail login page. 
let me copy okay let's go to the landing page and paste it import so i'm just clicking the capture the submit data because that's where we are just capturing the all the submits so capture the passwords if suppose they are just student and you can see if the post they want to redirect or something for example if suppose they did it and they submitted you can uh, redirect them to phishing campaign page or something else message that you are saved on those things you can do it over there but i am just leaving default means i'm not going to do anything so now this is there then now we are in the sending profiles we have to basically this is where we have to configure smtp so here i'm just going to configure smtp profile so i'm just putting as a demo smtp so the gmail smtp server is smtp.gmail.com and the port number we can use this port number securely sending or typically 25 you can use it without encryption so now what i'll do is uh, let me type it so gmail smtp should from i need to give the email address where it is should come from it so basically i just filled all the things demo smtp and i'll give a one dummy uh, disposable email address and the gmail one and the username of the passwords and i just give it over there uh, let me if everything we did correctly uh, the email should goes off it let's see test it over there okay so basically the connection is not happening over there fine so what i'll do is let me try to find the different smtp so google search will help you to find the free smtp servers or otherwise you can host your open smtp and you can test it over there so here we can use smtp port number and this is basically we can copy copy it and let's go to the profile and I'll paste it here and the port number is 25 I have given it so let me again get the same thing 25 let me test it the connection again it should hopefully work looks like it is working but it's taking a longer time so I'm just cancelling it and saving this profile since the considering of the time fact so now all we have set it over there now good to go with the campaign let's let's try to launch this campaign so just so this is a, a gmail login campaign camp yeah. and i'm going to use the gmail login table see that is why see already we have created right so that's what it, so you can create a multiple things and landing page same thing you can have a landing page multiple so that's what happened and the url here what the url is i'm just going to give the uh, the local host of it where is actually the camp this is running so i'm just going to test it in the same environment so that is what and launch it when you want to launch it and you can use the demo one which group you want to do it so i'm just going at test users groups and let me launch the campaign so this is scheduled the campaign to be launched so launch it so the all set for it so you can refresh it uh, so basically if uh, so you can see that site is sending uh, so basically the email will come so in case if it depends and though for example once the user is received on it so there is a sometimes slowness in the smtps since we are using third party smtps a lot of people will be testing and those things over there so there is a highly chances that smtp is so my recommendation is uh, you can create your open smtps or you can use the company's uh, smtps when you are doing a phishing campaign to be very successful over there so once the user is what because we have a login page we have created right so that it will give you like email sent it how many people you sent it how many people if that uh, user is 
guests opened that email or not uh, and if suppose the user has opened the email whether he clicked the link or whatever because the landing page we have given right so that is clicked or not and uh, the dummy data is what uh, we created right using HTML chat GPT we created a Google login right so once he submitted it will be said so totally it will give you the entire results email report so now after the campaign you can run it this campaign for month or three weeks or two weeks depends upon the business requirement you can collect the, all the details and stop the information and you can export as a csv file results and you can send it to the CSO and or leadership team and say that these are the people has clicked this, this links and those things you can have it you have a detailed report over there so this is the options and uh, uh, i hope uh, you learned how to do a phishing campaign in this uh, video Thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session. I hope you found the content informative. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving like to this video and also share your feedback in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Also feel free to share this video with others who might find it interesting. If you have any questions or need further clarification about anything shown in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me via Discord. Lastly, a big thank you to all my subscribers. Your encouragement keep me motivated to create more valuable content for you. Stay safe, stay curious. See you soon with another interesting video. Bye for now. Take care.